canonical that you have attempted to replicate the Unity desktop in GNOME. But not everyone wants that. Some people want the stock desktop, as is. So how can we get that really easily? Well, one line in the terminal. So yep, just open up the terminal. And type in sudo apt install gnome session. Press enter and type in your sudo password. OK, and we have the following additional packages will be installed. And that isn't particularly much, really. It's the add waiter icon theme, font theme, gnome themes, and yeah, yeah, so not too much. 25 meg of additional space will be required. So yes, go for it. And that is it. So just go and log out. So yeah, just highlight my name and log out. Log out, yes, go for it. Select my name and what do we have? Ubuntu. <laughs> That's worrying. No, it's still the same thing. Okay, we'll try a reboot this time. And now upon logging out, we should see GNOME in the logon list. So what do we want to go for? GNOME on Xorg or GNOME on Wayland? GNOME on Wayland, why not? And that is it. Now we have the stock GNOME desktop. Yeah, go on and launch GNOME Tweaks. Um, get rid of that. We have no minimized button there. I uh, notice the add waiter theme is back. Excellent. Uh, the ability to get extensions. Uh, looks like we can add them. The Ubuntu app indicators and Ubuntu dock is turned off. Yeah, it looks pretty close, unless I'm missing the point on how we install new extensions. But yeah, this is the vanilla GNOME desktop for you to do whatever you want with. So that's how to install the stock GNOME desktop in Ubuntu 17.10. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.